Welcome back to part three of the Build Your Own PokerBot series. In this video, we will be going over improving CFR for larger games. And we'll be doing this with an algorithm called Monte Carlo CFR Plus. Okay, so vanilla CFR or vanilla counterfactual regret minimization um, works fine for a game like Coon Poker, which is very small, um, but it's not gonna work for larger games like No Limit Poker. So um, when Cepheus solved um, limit heads up poker, they used a variant called CFR plus. And they proved that it converges dramatically faster than just regular CFR. And there are three main changes that are done. OK, so the first thing we're going to change is how we update the average strategy. Now remember, the average strategy is what we calculated after training, where we took all the strategies that we used during the training process and then average them out into one blueprint strategy. In vanilla CFR, we use uniform updating strategy. That means each iteration has the same impact on the blueprint strategy as every other one. So what's the problem with this? Well, during the early parts of our training process, we're going to start with a very weak strategy. And at the end uh, of our training process, we're going to get more of a stronger uh, policy going on. And what happens if we just linearly average these out? We're going to find that the early half of the training process is going to kind of weaken our, our overall strategy. So how do we fix this? Well, one solution is to just simply ignore the first half of the strategies that we developed. And then only average out the last half of the training process. And the other thing we can do is update the strat strategies with a weighted proportion. And this means we weight heavily on the end half of the iterations rather than the first half. This is shown to be a lot better than uh, just simply linearly updating um, our average strategy. Next, we'll go over alternating updates. So in vanilla CFR, we simultaneously updated regrets for both players. In CFR Plus, we used Monte Carlo sampling instead. And this means we're going to alternate between both players, and we're only going to update regrets for one player at a time. And the idea behind this is we reduce the amount of the game tree that's explored on each iteration, and will still converge on the Nash equilibrium. So the way we select our action for the player whose regrets we're not updating, we're going to sample from the distribution of the strategy that we've already that we're actively computing. The other thing we can do is take the greedy path with some probability. So for example, 30% of the time, we'll just take the action with the highest regret at this time. Okay, now we'll go over how regret storage is improved. So in our standard CFR, we stored just regrets normally. Uh, when we got negative numbers, we just simply ignored them when we were calculating our strategy. In CFR Plus, we don't store any negative numbers at all. So every time we see a negative number, we just reset it to zero. And this has been shown to improve convergence drastically faster. So a quick note, actual regrets are not stored. Instead, they're considered regret-like values. And lastly, we'll go over pruning. So the idea of pruning is that we don't explore areas of the game tree that have a tiny amount of regret. Uh, example would this be if, if we're dealt aces, we don't want to explore what would happen if we folded them. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to need to do that. Or explore what would happen if we went all in with two seven offsuit, or what, example. So pruning was used in Labratus or no limit poker, but not Cepheus for limit poker. So I guess this isn't necessary but it is needed in games with a very high branching factor. We all, now we want to make sure we start pruning only after a certain amount of iterations. So if we start too early, we're, we might be ignoring parts of the game tree that could be useful. So we might start off with a very low regret for one option, and if we prune that, we'll never explore it again.